The purpose of this podcast is to show you some great examples of artsy assignments that have, done by, have been completed by students in the past. You all know that in your notebooks that we start off with blank caricatures like the American woman, and then the American slave, the American farmer, and so on. Well, here's a blank slate. By the end of the year, you're going to see things that look like this. Uh, notice how it's mainly images with some words written in. Uh, you got to preserve space as you go. Notice also the use of color to make it look good. So I'm looking for you to put on these caricatures images a little bit at a time anytime you do a lecture where there's a significant woman. Here's just another way of looking at it. Uh, use of color. You might not know what the waves mean down the bottom, but you will soon. The American Indian. Blank as can be at the start of the year. By the time we hit the end of the year, it'll be full. Now this is actually just a decent black and white representation. It's a little heavy on words for my purposes, but still it's got some graphics in it, so it's a good example. Here's a better example. Notice the use of color, uh, a design underneath the trail of tears, a lot of cool stuff. Smallpox down at the bottom, uh, hating Jackson. You'll find out why that belongs there. The American Slave, blank to begin with. But look at this by the time you're done with it. We'll actually finish this by the end of the first semester. Another example, once again, a little too heavy on words. I'd rather have more symbolism because when you draw pictures, it helps link the two sides of your brain together as opposed to just sticking with your verbal linguistic side. Another example, it's a real good one. Notice how the color line is woven in here, the Underground Railroad, all different kinds of stuff, really, really nice. A caricature blank of the American farmer, but wait, oh, look at all the things that are there. This is a great example of a lot of different symbols that were used. Cross of gold, bread basket, combines, Shays Rebellion is even in here, the Populist Party. This is good and colorful, it's got a nice little population triangle up there. Uh, maybe a little heavy on words, but still, it looks cool. American Immigrant. Notice all the information that's here, it's just packed full of it. U minimal use of color, just adds contrast to it. An invitation to Shays Rebellion, this is a little different. You may be doing this one soon. Uh, full color poster, an invitation to the Rebellion, it looks neat, has good voice, it's a great job. We sometimes do caricatures of historical people like Hamilton. This is all things Hamilton, or all things Jefferson with a joker face on it. Oh, he's so serious, Jefferson. This is a Janus figure. Combination of pictures and words. You've done Janus figures before, I'm sure. Another invitation for Shays Rebellion. And some decorated notes. Now, we also do things with Andrew Jackson's money and other kinds of money. Notice how the money's been decorated, just like a character once again. Jackson the Superman. This is one half of a project called Setting the Table for the Civil War. Here's the other half. And yet, all on one page, Setting the Table for a Civil War. You may find these useful down the road. So I hope this has helped. You've had a pretty decent tour of what to look for when you do notebook assignments. Be neat, be colorful, be creative. Don't take the simple road out.